let's do some activity together for you to better understand a important uh, concept of dynamic equilibrium. Now we have two questions. Number question number one A, define what is reversible reaction. B, define law of mass action, and you should get two marks here. Question two A, state what is the two characteristic of a system at in dynamic equilibrium. And B, draw a concentration against time graph to show the dynamic equilibrium, which you should get three marks for these questions. Question number 1A, define a reversible reaction. So a reversible reaction is a chemical reaction that can proceed in both forward and reverse direction. So the important keywords here is the forward and reverse reactions. So you should get one mark. So and define what is the law of mass action. So the law of mass action or equilibrium law is a relationship that shows the relation between concentration of reactant and products at equilibrium. Okay, so this is one mark. Question number 2A, state two characteristics of a system in dynamic equilibrium. So the two important characteristics of system in equilibrium is the rate of forward reaction must equal to the rate of reverse reaction. Number two, at dynamic equilibrium, the concentrations of reactant and products remain unchanged or become constant. And for this, you should get two marks. And question to B, draw a concentration against time graph to show the dynamic equilibrium. So this is the correct answer. Okay, so you should write the correct axis. The y-axis should represent the concentration. The x-axis should represent the time. Okay, so the shape of the graph will give you one mark. The correct shape means that the concentrations of reactant must decrease over time and the concentration of product must starting from zero initially and must be increased over time and at the time where the concentration of reactant and product unchanged and become constant, this is the time where the reaction has achieved equilibrium. So this one you should label, compulsory to label, and this line also is compuls compulsory for you to label and indicate the time that reaction has achieved equilibrium. Next, in the next video, we will continue with lecture 2. Equilibrium constant.